Hi, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video I want to show you a very interesting product I just picked up. Inside this metal box is a small little USB device that can read voltage and current draw on any USB device that you're charging. As you can see, it comes in a very nice metal box, and I bought it off Amazon from a seller called Drock, D-R-O-K, and it's a name that's shown on the top of this box here. So let me open this up and show you what the device looks like. Here is the user guide. This is the USB device that will measure the voltage and current. And the way you connect this is this USB plug will plug to the charger. On the top side here is labeled output 1 and this output can be used to measure the voltage and current draw. You can also connect a second device on the output 2. If you connect both devices at the same time, then it will measure the voltage and the current draw of both devices. At the top right hand side, there's a little button here. If you press this button, it will toggle the different modes of measurement. Uh, the first screen is going to be voltage and amp measurement and then the next one is going to be power. Power is derived from voltage times amp. Now according to the user guide there's also a mode to measure capacitance and I'm not quite sure what that measurement is for but you can use this button here to toggle between power display, the voltage display, current display, and the capacitance display. So let me hook this up and I'll show you how this works. The first device I'm going to test will be my LG L90 phone and here on the left side this is the original charger that came with the phone this is a 5 volt USB charger with 1.2 amp output so let me first connect the DROC measuring device into this plug and you can see it's measuring 4.97 volt and it's zero current because I have no devices connected to the output 1 or output 2 right now that's why the current reading is zero. So let me go ahead and plug in the cell phone. As you can see, the voltage that's going to the cell phone is 4.79 volt. And the current draw from the charger to the phone is 0 0.55 amp, which is the same as 550 milliamp. Now if you press the button that's at the top right hand corner right here, you toggle to different measurements. So this first one we're looking at is a voltage and amp. Press it once, it'll give you a capacitance measurement. Press it again, it'll give you the power measurement. Now the power measurement is simply the voltage times amp to give you 2.64 watts. So these first three readings are the main measurement this device can take. Now, if you press the button several more times, it will give you four additional options. But those four additional options, what they do is that will allow you to toggle and automatically switch between one display to another. So let me go ahead and press the button once more. Now it shows you C for capacitance. And in this display, it will toggle back and forth between the voltage amp and the capacitance reading. I'm going to press the button one more time. And this one, P, will give you the power display and the voltage and amp display. So a toggle between the two. I'm going to press it again. Now the CP, CP will give you the display for capacitance and power. And it will toggle between these two. Press it again. This is CP. CP will give you voltage amp measurement and it will give you the capacitance measurement and also the power measurement. So it will toggle between the three different measurements. Press it again. Now I'll go back to the first menu which is the voltage and amp measurement. As another test, I've plugged in the Samsung Galaxy S5 charger 
This charger is rated to have a maximum output of 5 volt at 2 amp and this is the Samsung Galaxy S5 phone. Now this phone does require a lot more current from the charger to charge properly so let's plug this in and see what it measures. It's kind of interesting earlier the current draw you saw it kind of fluctuate a little bit and right now it's settled at 1.75 amp that's a charging current so from the charger through this device into the phone the current draws 1.75 amp right now here I have an ASUS transformer 10.1 inch tablet and the charger I've plugged in is the original ASUS charger it outputs a maximum of 5 volt, 1.35 amp. So let me plug this in. And the charging current is 1.12 amp. So now I'm going to use the output 2 port here. I'm going to plug my Blackberry phone into this port. So you'll get the total current draw. So right now it's telling me that the current draw between these two devices are measuring 1.33 amp. Now I'm going to disconnect the output one from the tablet. As you can see it will still continue to measure the current draw that's going out on the output two. Right now this Blackberry phone is charging at 200 milliamp. This next test that I'll be showing you is an example of why this little device can be very handy to have. On the left side you see I have two HTC USB charger. Now this charger is rated to be at 5 volt output maximum of 1 amp. Now this one I'm holding here it's a fake one. Why I know it's a fake one is because well I bought this off eBay many years ago and I think I paid maybe four or five dollars and has never worked. Has never been able to charge a device properly. The one that's plugged in right now, this is the original HTC charger. So right now I've plugged the original charger to my LG phone and the output shows 5 volts and the current draw is 0.74 amp. So try to remember this number. This is from the genuine HTC charger. So next I'm going to swap it out with this fake one and let's see what kind of reading we get. The voltage is no longer 5 volt, now it's measuring 4.61 volt. The current draw is now at 0.38 amp. It's quite a difference between the original HTC charger and this fake one here. So sometimes when you buy chargers off the internet and you get it home and sometimes it doesn't work right, this little device can tell you instantly why that's the case. You can do a straight comparison between one charger and another. Now with any measurement device like a multimeter or in this case a USB device that measures voltage, amp and power there are some maximum limits that you need to be aware of and it's listed clearly in the user guide. This USB device will accept any input with a voltage of 3.2 volt to 9.99 volts and the maximum current it can handle a 0 to 3 amp. Now it does say that it can handle up to 10 amp momentarily but you don't want to plug that in for a long time. And it has a power testing measurement of 0, 0.00 watt to 9.99 .99 watt and then also tells you that it can go up to 99.9 .9 watt. You take the maximum input voltage of 10 volt, multiply that by a maximum current of 10 amp, you'll get 100 watt but that's a peak measurement. There are a couple of safety features built into this device. One of them is the over voltage alarm. So if you exceed 5.6 volt, what happens is that the voltage display will flash quickly. Also there is a 
under voltage alarm. If you go below 4.4 volt, the voltage display will flash slowly. And there is an overcurrent alarm. What happens is that if you exceed 3 amp, the current digital display will flash quickly. And also there is a short circuit alarm. If it senses that, then the current digital display will flash quickly. Another thing to note is there is one difference between the output 1 and output 2 output. The output 1 will allow charging and data transfer. So you can connect that to a computer USB port while measuring the voltage and current and also transfer data. The output 2 port is only for charging. It does not have any data communication function. Well, I hope you found this product to be interesting. I certainly did. In the past, I've seen some products where it can do some USB measurement, but comes in this raw circuit board where you have to have wires jumper to it. This one comes in a very nice package, easy to use. And best of all, you can actually buy this device for under $12. Very inexpensive. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to where I got this from Amazon. And again, the brand is Drock. The seller is also Drock, so it's very easy to find. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to click on the like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.